platters and clusters and sectors. Oh my! Have you ever wondered how your hard drive works? Have you ever taken one apart to look inside it? Most of us probably haven't. That's because they're very hard to get into and just opening it destroys the drive and it basically doesn't serve any purpose because the parts inside are completely non-serviceable. This picture here gives you a glimpse inside the secret world. As you can see, in the very center of your drive you have a spindle. This is where the rotation action happens. You've also seen on your hard drive it says it's 5400 or 7200 RPMs. That's referring to the spindle speed. And around the spindle are large metallic discs that look similar to CDs. But actually, they're not CDs, although the concept is close. These large metallic discs hold magnetic data that is written by the actuator arm, or more specifically, the head at the end of the actuator arm. This arm is connected to a motor that moves it to the correct spot as the spindle rotates the platters under it. In this closer look, we see more detail about this layout. If you look at platter 1 on the top, you'll see it actually has two sides. It has a side 0, and it also has a head 0. And under the bottom, it has a head that corresponds. So, in actuality, as your hard drive spins, it is reading and writing multiple heads at the same time. But how does it write the data? It wraps the data to specific points on the disk. These specific points are called sectors. The arm is moved to the correct location and as the sector passes under the head at a very high speed, magnetic information is either read or written. You'll also notice on this slide clusters. A cluster is the term for a group of sectors. But how big are these clusters and sectors? On modern hard drives, the sector size is 512 bytes. And the NT file system recommends a cluster size of 4 kilobytes. And this file system is used by most modern Windows operating systems. So therefore, the odds are on your computer, one cluster is 8 sectors. Your operating system will only address clusters as the smallest unit of size that it writes to. By that I mean if you have a one kilobyte file, your hard drive will set aside four kilobytes or one cluster. This may seem very inefficient and I guess it is, but in drives that are measured in terabytes, a few kilobytes lost doesn't really matter. In fact, your drive performance is increased by using this system. Wear and tear on the drive is reduced and write speeds go up. But what about large files? Large files are written across multiple clusters. So if you have files in the megabytes or even gigabytes, we're talking hundreds and thousands of clusters. Now, are they all lined up neatly in a row? Very rarely. Clusters are not always even on the same platter. And when that f file is erased, that space is marked as available for use again. As your hard drive constantly writes and erases files, you can begin to have your files scattered over random locations across multiple sectors, clusters, and platters. This leads to something we call fragmentation. As you can see, the red on this chart is fragmented files, or files that are not close to each other on the hard drive. This is a fairly typical fragmentation on most drives. If you run a defragmentation program, it will actually copy the files from location to location using the available free space until all the files are now back together. This makes your hard drive make less noise when it's being read. It also speeds up the access time of your files. So what can we conclude about hard drives? Hard drives are very complex in design. They're operating at high speeds, very high rotation, and the 
arm and head have to be in the exact spot at the exact time to pick up the data. They have a very tough job to do, and it's made tougher by the fact that we're constantly erasing and writing new files. The best thing you can do to keep your hard drive operating at peak performance is to defragment it regularly. In fact, Vista and Windows 7 support defragmentation scheduling. This is highly recommended to keep your hard drive happy and ready to go.